Hey everybody, welcome to Falcon Plays Out There D Omega Edition. If you're wondering what Out There is all about, very good question. Out There essentially is a roguelite resource management game in space. And if you're familiar with the channel whatsoever, you do know that I like to cover my space. I'm a big sci-fi buff. This game is very minimalistic in its sense, but um, oddly enough, it's still very, very difficult because they're... Most of your choices are based a little bit on randomized chance, so, you know, that could kind of make it a little bit difficult for you to actually get to your end-all goal of the game itself. So expect, you know, a lot of deaths here and there until we finally get around to it. I've had one decent run in quite a few attempts, so um, just a little bit of a heads up. I will be leaving in the first cutscene of the game for this episode just for all of you guys that are interested in the story. It'll explain to you what the end-all goal of the game itself is. So, without further ado, let's get in here really quickly. New game. I'm an astronaut aboard the Nomad. Passenger on a line that connects Earth to Ganymede, a moon of Jupiter. Until something happened. When I awoke from cryonics, I wasn't in orbit around Ganymede. In fact, I wasn't even in the solar system anymore. I was... out there. Alrighty, and here we go. So, essentially, the breakdown of it we want to get back home, which is over there, indicated by that red marker in the corner of the screen. It is up to you to get there by any means necessary. There's going to be a few options where you can kind of switch spaceships on one run. Any spaceship that you do unlock will not be available for your next run. You always start off with the same spaceship, and it's up to you to kind of, you know, based on RNG, find other spaceships that kind of get you to your end all goal itself, and also use technologies along the way to kind of get you there. Again, the game is really, really difficult in that regard because, you know, Sometimes you'll have a good run, sometimes you'll have a bad run, so mostly I've had bad ones. So we'll see if hopefully now we could have something pretty good on screen for you here. So, really quick, let's go into our ship. Right now, this is our spaceship right here. Um, to give you a quick rundown here, this is going to be your fuel, this is going to be your oxygen, this is going to be your hull damage, which is over here indicated. Right now we're at 90 fuel, 100 oxygen, and 100 hull. You could use a few of these um, elements itself to kind of give yourself either more fuel, more oxygen, or more hull. There's going to be also a lot of other elements that you can kind of either mine, to create new technologies or to substitute, for instance, um, things to heal up your ship itself and regenerate other things. So again, it's really resource management in that regard, and it's up to you to kind of make the right choices, make the right technologies to kind of get you through. All your t starting technologies over here can be dismantled for emergency elements that you might need to continue. Maybe you'll have an item that if you dismantle, it'll give you fuel if you run out of fuel. Because if you run out of fuel, it's game over. Oxygen, game over. Hull damage, game over. So there's a lot of elements against your play here and it's up to you to kind of figure out how you know kind of go about that so really quickly is the starting area we don't really have to do much over here so let's actually jump to we have the yellow dwarf which is in a dwarf i should say not dwarf oh you're thinking of dwarf fortress um so this is going to cost us 16 fuel and five oxygen to get to this one or we could jump to this yellow dwarf which is going to be either 16 and five as well so either or um, I've never really taken this pad over here, so I'm not sure if I could even make the jump from here to here to there. But you know what, I'm gonna try something different this time around and see if it um, impacts any of our play whatsoever. So let me jump over to this guy over here, travel over here, and we're gonna have a few little um, updates every time you jump to another um, system. Day 18. The last space folding didn't go well. I got too close to a star. Now the surface of a star is not that hot, around 5,000 Celsius, but just below it goes up to 1 million. I made it out but Phototonic Winds have badly scratched my ship. So, right off the bat, we already took 15 damage to our hull, so not really a good start, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you'll have positive events, sometimes you'll have negative events. Now, over here, you have a choice of um, landing and probing different planets. <laughs> probing. Hey, mature. Let's be mature about this. So, um, it's up to you to kind of make the right choices here. So right now, we have a rocky planet, which is rich in metallic ore. We also have this gas giant, which is rich in fuel, but it's got a risky orbit, meaning if we jump over here, we could take a another hit to our hull. Who knows how much the amount is, it's going to be up to you to figure out. This one over here could jump to as well, but as you can see, dangerous atmosphere, so it's going to be even worse, but the fuel 
might be a little bit better. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure our ship cannot go into one of these big planets and mine it for, uh, or at least probe it for gas right now. So we're going to avoid those for now. It's up to us what we want to do right now. So let's look at our ship here. We have, well, I guess we could kind of fix our hole a little bit here with the 16. What is this element going to be? Iron? Iron. <laughs> Should have paid better extension in class, right? So iron over here. So we fixed up our hole. That's fine. Oxygen at 20. Fuels at 74. We could kind of fix this up right now. I believe if we use this right now, each, um, is this hydrogen? Yeah. Each hydrogen costs two fuel. So essentially we could recover up to 20 fuel right now. And I guess we'll probably do that right off the bat here. And we're up to 94 again. And we've made a little bit of room. By the way, if you're going to be mining stuff, this is how much you could actually carry along with your systems themselves. So we could mine up to um, probably six different um, ores or gases, but we can't mine beyond that. So let's... um, We're looking all right right now, but let's start off with... Mm, you know, I am kind of want to do this one. I kind of want to get some gas. I feel like that's kind of like one of the important ones. So let me go into gas, even though there is a risk to getting more damage to our hull. But let's check it out either way. That actually did 19 damage to our hull. Costs a little bit of fuel and oxygen to get here. But that's okay. Now, probing as well is going to cost fuel. So everything you do is going to be basically managed to your resources. you got to make the right calls over here. So right now we could probe a depth of 5 for 5 fuel. You could go up to 6 kilometers, which is going to be, you know, 6, 7, etc. Um, the, the bar changes color depending on the risk factor. Sometimes probing a planet too far in, and I know what I just said, but probing a planet too far in can sometimes... Excuse me, phone, I'm in the middle of recording. Can you not be yelling at me? Alrighty. Depending on the... Um, there's a risk of you actually messing up your probe as I'm trying to get it here. Sorry for that interruption there. So we have seven right now fuel to go in seven kilometers deep. Let's try it out. Launch probe. Luckily, nothing went down, and we got 11 helium, which is actually, I believe, 4 per um, number. So we'd be looking at 44 extra um, gas, which is our fuel, which is really, really good. And we also have the hydrogen one over here. So I'll take these right here. We could probe it again, but you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I feel there's a pretty good amount of fuel. Let's, um, well, you know what? Let's try it again. But let's uh, take a less risk here. We'll do like a 5. Excellent. And we can stack these bad boys up to 20, if I am correct here. So, as you can see, this will spill over to a second slot, 20 and 2. And you know what? Since we're here, let's continue probing this a bit more. Okay. And I am relatively happy with this because right now we're still getting more fuel back than what we're actually using to actually probe. So after this one, I think I'm done. I feel that if I keep probing anymore, we're going to probably waste more fuel than we're actually receiving. So it's going to be like diminished returns. So let's just finish up over here. We're done. Pretty good um, gas giant over here. Let's get back outside. And we're going to go check out this rocky planet now because I got a little bit extra of, um, fuel. So I feel relatively fine doing this one. For the planets you actually have to mine, you do have to land in here. Which again, also has a risk to your hole and other different management parts here. So it's going to cost us four to dock. Let's go ahead and do it. And we could drill over here. So right now we're looking at 53, 83, and 81. Really quickly, let's actually use up some of our gasoline over here to fill up again. Let's see, this will pit me up to 93. So let's go ahead and do it. Perfect. 93. And I'll save you for now. We have some oxygen and we have some hole repairs as well. And we have four slots over here. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and drill and see what we can find. It's going to cost us five fuel to drill. I say we do it. And we have some more iron, which is good. And let's see. So it's going to be probably like a big, heavy iron planet. If you probe deeper, you might find something even more rare, which is actually really useful for technologies you find along the way that you have to kind of build on the fly. But again, there's also a risk involved with it. So let me go up to 7 just because we had a pretty good gas giant. And that's all we're getting here. I'm not going to do it anymore. So we're done. Finish it up. And let's um, take off. 4 and 6 to take off. So be it. And let's jump to a next system here. So we have... We're trying to jump over here to make it on that one. But honestly, I don't think we're going to have enough of a um, jump to get here. You can extend your jump, by the way. But you have to get either a better ship or different technologies to do so. Um, we have... Yellow Dwarf, which is going to cost 12 and 4. Black Hole, I'm going to avoid that one for sure, 23 and 7. I haven't had any luck in the Black Holes. I got I got an achievement doing that in an off-camera run, but um, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go to the Blue Giant over here. 15 and 5 seems pretty good to me. Let's travel over. Day 27, another outstanding tale. I came across a huge energy ball, shiny and colorless, that seemed alive. It grabbed my ship with curiosity? Since I was sure I was living my last moments, I quickly put on my spacesuit. Smart move, because it took me out of the ship by some kind of teleportation. I was examined briefly, then it fled. It took me several hours to get back to the ship. Weird. 
So is this going to cost me anything in general? Uh, I lost 20 oxygen because he pulled me out of the fucking spaceship. Alright, thanks a lot, asshole. Alrighty, so... What do we have here? We have a gas giant, and we're not going to go to that one, obviously. So do we need any more fuel, or do we just count our blessings and get out of here? I'm going to say we get out of here. So, we're not going to do anything over here. Let's check out... Mmm... Jumping... That's the black hole, right? Yeah, we don't want anything to do with that one. So we're going to come... Oh, god damn it, are you kidding? Well, wait a minute. We have a yellow dwarf. A lot of, um, fuel, but we can avoid the black holes, and that's fine. So let's travel over to this bad boy over here. Day 36. Only a single asteroid in the system, floating isolated. It is all covered with shiny sprouts of some weird plan resembling a mechanism of arms and interfaces. I approach, and these mecha sprouts connect to my board computer. It displays these phrases. Tadin Hogahof, whatever. Yeah, a lot of gibberish. Okay. So it's giving me a choice right now. By the way, as you continue going further through the galaxies, you will actually learn what some of these weird words actually mean. You'll get a vocabulary on the system itself. But um, every time you die and restart, your vocabulary to learn is basically gone. So what you could do on the side is actually whatever you kind of um, decipher, kind of put it like in a notepad and be like, you know, kind of cheat a little bit for your next time around, or, you know, you could just not do that, which is what I do, because I'm too lazy to actually, you know, dictate what each word means, right? So we have a few choices over here. Which one sounds pretty good to us? I'm not even entirely sure, honestly. Um, apparently, the first three seem like the same thing, but with different power levels or quantities, and then the fourth one is completely different from the first three. Just based on that, I kind of want to go with the fourth one, but you know what? Maybe this isn't the worst thing. Let me go with the first one just in case it's a really bad option. So we'll do select first. Okay, the plan grasps my ship with one of its arms, and what's going on? Shiny portal is opening and it thrusts my ship through it. You have been warped out there. Okay, well, that's the first time I've run into that encounter, and there you go. You can just warp me somewhere else. What? It's fine, I mean, it actually gave me a free jump in a sense then, right? Cool. Alrighty, so right now, oxygen is looking pretty bad. So is fuel. Let's go over here really quickly. Let's drop down our oxygen. Actually, wait, 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 wait. One of the things I'm going to actually advise you do is, um, before you use your resources, find out what's going on in that system itself. As you can see over here, this is a garden planet, which is breathable atmosphere. What this means is if you jump over here, it's going to refill your oxygen without you actually using your oxygen um, supply. So, good thing I checked that out. We're not going to use our oxygen. This should be over here replenishing it for us. Fuel, however, different thing altogether. We have a gas giant with a risky orbit. So two risky orbits, gas giants. We get some more fuel over here if we wanted to. Um, alrighty. Well, since we're gonna probably get more fuel, hopefully at not an expense to our hole. Let's actually drop down some. You are four times fourteen, correct? So that would be like you know fifty-six if I'm right. And that's gonna basically just about fill us up. So yeah, we'll use that up right now. Ninety-two, excellent. And we have you left over over here. You probably fill us up completely, right? Yeah, okay, so we're at 100 fuel now. Um, oxygen at 20, but we'll jump to that planet right now. Hole is looking at 81. We still have a little few resources to fix our hole in case anything goes bad. So, number one, we're going to jump over to the breathable atmosphere to get some oxygen over here. We will land. Four fuel and ten oxygen, that's fine. And now, as you can see, right now that we've landed in here, oxygen is back to 100. So that's pretty much one of the best moves you can make. Uh, the breathable atmosphere of this planet has allowed me to restore my oxygen supply. Alrighty. And over here, you get on the breedable planets, you have the actually chance to meet, um, I guess, alien species and either learn some of the vocabulary we talked about or um, get involved in some different type of events here, which could go either your way or against your way. So we're going to encounter life. This is the uh, Fiolan race. I have no idea what you're telling me right now, my friend, but okay. The alien um, places something on the ground and runs away. Oh, he left me some Omega. Perfect. We'll talk about this really soon. And you have learned a new words. Um, whatever this means means judges, architects, architects, and then whatever that was is Omega now. So excellent, alrighty. Nice. So the Omega should now be part of our cargo hold over here. Omega could be used to restore any of your maintenance systems over here. So really, really important. Kind of really of a pinch item to hold on to, so I will hold on to that for that reason alone. And we have the chance to drill over here, and I will just to find out if they have anything of value here. So let's actually go ahead and spend like maybe five. Remember, we have a two gas giants in this map, or in this um, system itself to kind of uh, mine. So let's try a fiver, and this will give us, man, 10 oxygen, carbon if I'm right, and then cobalt as well, right? Cobalt, yeah. This common element through difficult, uh, this common element through, though difficult to mine, is frequently used in the manufacture of measuring instruments. So these are, be are going to be used to kind of make different technologies and systems down the line once you unlock them. 
Um, I'm going to grab them right now because we have space, but if nothing comes around, I will get rid of these guys on a pinch if I need something more of value like gas or, you know, iron or something. So I'll grab these guys. We mined around five, correct? So for the most part, I don't think we're going to get anything too crazy anymore from here. So I'm going to bypass mining anymore, wasting more fuel. Let's just take off. And let's see here. Our fuel is, um, well, we have no more fuel left over. So we definitely probably want to go mine or probe one of the gas giants right now. So I'm going to try this one out over here. And we took 13 hull damage. That's all right. That's acceptable. We'll drop this over here. And we'll get an empty space and we'll recover up to 90 again, which is pretty good. And let's move the Omega over here. And you over here. Do a little management around here. Okay. So this is good. Let's start probing here and see if we can get anything good. We're going to go five deep and see what happens here. Oh, nice. Very, very good. I I'm going to actually do it again. Nice. And I'm almost encouraged to do it one more time. But you know what? I think I could live with this. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do it one more time. All right, two. And that's pretty much it. At this point, we're getting diminishing returns almost, so we're done. Finish up. Let's um, refuel up a bit here if we can. Place you on this one, and we're up to 62. This should just about fill us up to 100, and we'll have a little bit of leftover, like one. And again, we can use this as an emergency, or we'll probably use it after we jump again. So we're done over here. Let's um, get out of the system, and we're going to go... Where to? Red Giant, 16 and 5. Red Giant, 20 and 16. Or, 20 and 6. And 25 and 18 for this Red Dwarf. And we have another Red Dwarf over here at 15 and 5. We're going to go over to this one and see what happens. Day 45. Well, that was strange. I came across a hydrogen cloud. Some kind of mini star that never fully ignited. I get our lot of fuel before leaving it behind. Excellent. So we got 15 extra fuel as well. I hope that came into the... Ah, damn it. Well, actually, you know what? The jump cost is 15, right? So yeah, it was basically we broke even in that jump. Perfect. That worked out pretty well then. Now, what do we have in this system itself? We have a rocky planet, rich in metallic ore. We have another rocky planet. And we also have a gas giant, rich in fuel, risky orbit. Well, we have a lot of fuel right now, so I actually don't mind checking out one of these rocky planets really quickly. So, we'll land over here. Confirm that out. Now, before we start drilling, let's see how are we looking here. Let's um, open up a little bit of extra space here. And again, we could dump these guys off if I feel I find something more of value. And let's start drilling. And yeah, I think... Actually, let's try seven. Alrighty. Ooh. Really, really good area to mine, especially if you have some um, hole damage happening over here. So we have 20. This is right here. I forget what this one is. This is um, tungsten. This rare element is praised for its resistance to temperature extremes. So... I'm going to make a wager here, I've never done it myself, but at some point you will pick up a, te a technology that lets you, I guess, be able to probe those gas giants that I've been avoiding so far. But you could probably do that with this ship as well, if you get the technology to, you know, resist those type of temperatures, and tungsten is going to probably be one of the required items to make that. So, because of that, I'm going to take it along for now, and that's sad. Um, the downside of this is that you can't necessarily get out of here. Use up the iron to restore your hull, come back and grab this. It's basically a one-shot thing, so if you leave it behind, it's gone. Uh, we could probe this area again, which, you know, I, I kind of don't feel bad about doing, because we do have helium left over. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it one more time. Okay. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. God damn it, RNG. Okay. Oh no, a lava flux melted my drill. I'll have to rebuild it. Digging this deep can be quite hazardous. So, this is one of the things I talked about, um, RNG screwing you over. Now, it basically melted my drill off, which, um... <laughs> I just realized what I said. Um, luckily, it didn't disable it completely. Sometimes there's an event where if it melts your drill off... I gotta stop saying that. Um, you won't be able to just build it again. You'll have to, number one, restore that area of the ship and then build it making that part of the ship inoperable into you, you know, make it, um, I guess, passable again. So luckily that didn't happen this time around. So I'm not too broken down about that. I'm going to grab this right now and let's finish up over here. We are going to have to actually fix this drill right now, which obviously you can see we have no more drill anymore. Um, which is a problem. Let's see, drill, 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 drill. So Drill is gone. Let's get rid of cobalt then, or... You know what? I've never really found a use for carbon so far, so I'm gonna drop the carbon. Get on out of here. And we are going to craft a drill. There we go. Okay. 
Now then, it's looking a lot better. And I think we're pretty much ready to get out of here. I don't want to risk it anymore. So let's take off. Confirm. And we have 70, 71, and 90 right now, which is not looking too bad. How are resources? We have no more space anymore, so we can get rid of the cobalt. We can use the Omega in emergency. We can start using some oxygen as well, so let's do that. There you go. So you come over here, my friend, and... Oop. Excuse me. Omega. Swap up over here. Swap up over here. So we have one space left over. I think this is pretty good. So... Let us, um, you know what? Let us call this an episode here, then. We're going to call it an episode here. Hopefully, we continue going further. I would love to unlock one of the amazing ships that I've messed around with before and show what that is. But um, we'll probably do that, hopefully, next episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support does me a lot. If you have any tips you want to leave me, be ahead and do so. The game's been out for a while on tablets and mobile, but the Omega Edition is coming out on Steam, I believe, sometimes in early April. So keep an eye out for that. Other than that, I will catch you next time.